Hey guys, here with Fearness, and I'm back with another video for you today. Today I have an unboxing of another disc golf bag. I'm really excited about this bag. I cannot wait to open this bag. This is made by Gorilla Boy Disc Sports. They've been making disc golf bags for quite some time, and I've been meaning to get this particular bag. This particular one is called the Simeon, and uh, the previous versions I didn't really care for, so they finally make a version that I really, really like, and I'll go with that as I open the bag. Um, and then I'll be doing a comparison of this bag with other bags in its lineup, so uh, look out for those videos. But in the meantime, let's get this unboxed. All right, now that I got you guys a closer look, we're going to go ahead and take this open, and we'll see how it fares. So just a disclaimer, I have not seen this bag in person. There's not a lot of Simeons in my local uh, disc golf community. I've seen uh, maybe a couple older models from afar, but never seen any older models or newer models in person uh, because they're just really scarce in my area. So if I get a little excited, it's probably because uh, this will be my first time actually seeing one up close in person. So here we go. I'm gonna lift this up, open it so I don't scratch it. And the color scheme on this bag, it was a custom made. Um, however, it's a custom made that I normally don't do on custom bags, but I decided to go with it anyways. So here we go. So first off, when you open up the box, it just looks like that. There's no bag or anything. Some disc golf bags come with a plastic bag around it. It seems like the pound bags and the, um, and the, the Gorilla Boy bags all come without without that, uh, that plastic wrap. So, so far I am loving it. It is a thousand D Cordura and I'm super excited right now um, because I told them to use every single color that they have. So it's gonna be a, uh, what Gorilla calls a hobo style Simeon bag. So far I'm digging it. I, I love the footprint so far. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the box here. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start here. So we're gonna do that, here we go. Oh yeah, we're gonna put the box to the side here. And then we got a receipt inside. Um, so I did purchase this with a sternum strap. Right now they have a um, um, sternum strap with a f free code. I think it's called Strap 2022, and then they'll uh, attach the sternum strap for free. Otherwise, if you purchase it separately later, it's $15. And I went ahead and just put the code in because it's free. So that's what happened there. Um, the other thing that I did get, because they have two accessories, the sternum strap and uh, patches and, um, and the uh, storage unit inside, which I'll go over in a minute. But first impression so far, this bag is a lot smaller than what I was expecting. Um, than I was what I was expecting. The reason for why I say that is because if I put it next to the Ridge Roller Customs, the Ridge bag, it's a, it's kind of a wider footprint than than the Simeon at first glance. The height is almost the same. The Gorilla um, is going to be a little bit shorter than the Ridge, just tiny bit, a hair, not that much. I'll do a comparison later, but. Um, but that's my first impression so far is this bag is a smaller footprint than I was what I was expecting. So I'm actually, I'm actually liking this. And um, the weight on it, it feels light, but I don't know. It feels slightly lighter than the Ridge, but uh, I'll go ahead and I'll weigh that together later. But so far, my first impression, I love this color. I love this colorway. I love what they did here. Yes, I told them to use all the colors. I didn't really specifically tell them a certain pattern um, because I wanted it to be surprised, and I am totally surprised. I love this yellow on top. I love the purple on the back here. It's all Thousand D Cordura. Um, the straps, it has this foam or like this padding inside that is not your normal padding on other bags I've used. I love the fact so far, and it could, I could be wrong after I use it, so far that the, the inside of it is Thousand D Cordura as well. It's not that mesh material that some of the other bags use, so I'm totally digging that, but we'll see if how comfortable that is. I love it because it has color in, on, the, on the inside of the strap, and it's all different colors, and I think it's such a fun looking bag to look at. Um, apparently, it comes with a patch array, so I, it's a good thing I didn't order an extra patch. So, so far, I am digging it. So, off the bat, 
One of the reasons why I ordered this bag is because I've, I'm always up to testing any bag with a built-in seat. The Gorilla Boy uses a PVC versus the Ridge, which uses aluminum. And so I've, uh, I've always wanted this bag because this bag came out before the Ridge. But the previous designs, I just didn't care for it and how it looks. It just didn't, it just looked way too boxy for me. And it's just like a weird design, the way the discs sit. So I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And finally, finally, it comes out with the, the way disc storage, which, which is I like, which is the disc coming down like this instead of an angle. And then um, I love the color customization and the colorways uh, versus um, what they had before. So let's go ahead and unzip the, um, the zippers here. My understanding is that for 2022, they have the YKK zippers. I am a huge fan of YKK zippers when it comes to equipment of any kind. Um, so that was another selling point for me to get to, to wait till now to get it is because they have the YKK zippers because I'm so used to having those kind of zippers and those zippers do not fail. Um, so again, Thousand Thousandy Cordura, the inside, this is awesome. The inside right here, we have the shelving, I'm just going to call the shelving unit, and these are 1000D Cordura material. On the inside, we have one, two, three to put all the discs. And then it's got this piece right here as different colors on this side. I love the sage green and this bright orange. It's just such an awesome looking bag with all the different colors in it. And this is supposed to hold the disc so that if you lift the bag like this, it will not... Um, it will not come out. I'm going to put discs in there and show you in a minute. And then uh, the other thing that I ordered um, that um, was an accessory is uh, this right here. And um, that is for the tray that's inside right here. This is the accessory tray. That was actually $30 and it's a 3D pin printed tray from uh, Gorilla Boy. And uh, I ordered that because I liked something secure to hold my wallet and my keys. So I went ahead and got it because uh, after looking at some of the pictures and some of the reviews so far that I saw online, there wasn't really much anywhere else to put it without using one of these side pockets. And um, yeah, so I just go ahead, and go ahead and order this. And I'll let you guys know in a review later, but uh, I love this pink, this bright pink underneath right here inside. That's awesome. And then right here, if I was to lift this up, it's a Velcro piece that allows me to access the two inch foam that's inside right here. So it'll be exciting to go ahead and, and sit on that um, during a round. But this PVC feels light. My understanding is that I can actually take this whole thing out if I wanted to. I'm not going to because uh, I'm gonna use the bag. Um, and yeah. So that's the main compartment. The sides, huge patch right here, huge Gorilla Boy uh, rubberized um, patch right there. And then we got this strap. This strap is going to help hold the discs on this side right here. Should I use, need to use that side pocket? Uh, and then there's a huge side pocket on the side right here. And there's a mesh pocket all the way down here. And it's not a, a flimsy mesh. It's kind of like a plastic po polyester uh, mesh material. So there's that. I guess I could put my keys and wallet in there if I wanted to. And then a huge insulated or padded, I should say. I don't know if it's insulated. Maybe it is, but it's padded um, drink holder here. Underneath that, it's got the two holes as a drain, drain holes. And then I just love this. I love this green right here. This is a nice bright it's not bright green. I mean, it's not like this highlighter green, but it's a nice green with the highlighter green. And then whatever this material is, that's pretty cool right there. It's just a, such a slick, slick bag. And the other side is a, a, the same symmetrical pocket layout, but it's a different color, co color scheme uh, due to me just telling them to, to use whatever. Um, whatever colors they got. And then it's two zippers that open this up and they're huge pockets, just, just ginormous pockets. So I think that's pretty awesome. Again, just a thousand D Cordura everywhere. There's no liner or anything. It's just the material, the thousand D Cordura material. And then again, we got another strap right here and we got the camo on the, the side over here versus all black on the other side. And then we got a little bit of white right here. And then we got kind of like a different green on this side right here. And then a blue cup holder versus red on the other, or burgundy on the other side. And then we got pencil holders galore right there. And the pencil holders are on both sides, actually. 
And then moving to the back of the bag here, I already, I already touched on the straps a little bit, but I am loving these straps. It looks phenomenal. I love the fact that these straps, these, um, um, these, these things right here are sewn in and it's, you can use it as kind of a loop, but they have D rings here so you can hook things that you want. Oh my gosh. I just found out something about this bag. We have the excess straps rolled up and tucked away with a Velcro strap. My favorite. I've spent money on bags that cost more than this bag and it don't, they don't come with those, which I don't understand. They don't come with the strap. What I call these are, um, they're kind of like, um, they are, they help keep the straps wrapped up and it's just um, a nice way of get, keeping them tucked so they're not dragging on, on the ground, which I love. I put these little Velcro straps on all of my bags that don't come with these. So I think uh, that's a nice tidy way of keeping the excess straps um, at bay. And then these straps, my understanding is they are removable. I can't wait to use this bag. This looks phenomenal. And then this is a padding on the back, the lower lumbar part, and it's supposed to come off and you can move it up and down. So I love the color combination that they got going on here with the straps, with the padding on the inside. So yeah, so that's a quick unboxing. And then uh, my understanding is that these, the straps are removable, completely removable, and they are adjustable. So it's adjustable using this right here and you can actually unvelcro it and then um, take it out take it out completely and then each one of these notches you can move the strap into the notches for a shorter person so i'll probably play around with that because i am a short person so i'll probably play around it with that and put it on and tell you if that's actually functional or not and then uh to uh to take the straps completely off is you unbuckle these uh, on top and you unbuckle on the bottom and they completely come off and i think that's to meant so that you can put on a cart which i think is a really cool design so yeah let's go ahead and put some discs in here and see what it looks like all right guys i have it stacked up with discs this is what it looks like now with all the discs inside the compartment one of the inter interesting things that i find about this bag is the way the discs are are uh, set up in the main compartment it's set up vertically instead of horizontally like horizontally like 90% of the bags on the market currently uh, except for the Carlton by pound the Carlton's not set up this way either this or the traditional horizontal way but anyways regardless um, I just thought it was interesting and um, I had 22 discs in my pound octothorpe and I tried fitting 20, the same 22 discs that I've been playing this whole entire winter in this bag and um, this is how it fits so there's right now let's see six eight so there's 14 discs in the main compartment i believe i think you can fit 14 to 16 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 yeah um i've seen people put 16 in here but i do use uh so this top half this top half sorry this top part right here is all distance drivers everything below are ferry drivers and mid-range so i carry more ferry drivers in mid-range than uh distance drivers so my highest speed driver is actually a speed 12 and everything uh, below that i carry mostly speed nines or lower on my discs um so i, I was only able to fit 14 because i do prefer carrying more mid-ranges and more fairway drivers than I do distance drivers. I find that they're easier to control for me, so that's why there's 14 in this main compartment. I tried putting some discs down here. It's actually not meant for discs. I think it's meant for storage. Um, and I didn't really bother putting anything down there because I try fitting two or three discs in there. I try fitting one, and you kind of kind of have to finagle it, like angle it to get it in, and it's just too much of a fight for me. And when I use a bag, I don't want it, I don't have I don't want to have to fight to put a disc in. So that's why I'm not going to use that bottom compartment. The side pockets, currently I have putters in there because I like easy access to my putters. And uh, these are my throwing putters on this side. I can only fit two. I don't know if I can fit three. I've seen people fit three, which I don't even know how. But it's snug with two in here so right now. And I don't even have anything in the side pockets yet. Um, as you can see, there is a big water bottle. This is much bigger than an Algene bottle. And it fits comfortably in that pocket, except you can see it's kind of protruding out when you put it in it's going to pull this pocket out so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to zipper it up every time i use the side pocket uh, the side cup holder here 
And um, speaking of which, in here I do have two more putters. So I carry two, four, six, eight putters. So 14 desks, regular non-putter desk, and eight putters. That's what I normally carry in my bag is, um, a, a third of my bag is usually about, uh, are usually putters. So the other eight putters, two are in this top side compartment, and then the other two are inside the big, big flappy compartment here. And that's the same on the other side. So my putting putters are right here on the t on this pocket right here. And then the other two um, put and approach putters um, are in here. Um, so the zones are flatter so they can fit nicely, but these are uh, rain, the rainmakers and they, you know, your normal size putters and they kind of like fight with a little bit. And I think it's because of plastic as well, but just keep that in mind and I'm going to see how that's going to do for me. So I might use this bag for like short rounds uh, on holes on courses that I don't need a lot of discs. Um, but otherwise tournament play, I might not be able to use this bag, but we'll see. All right, so that's the unboxing. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is the bottom of it. The bottom of this bag does not have a rail system. Um, it actually just has extra, an extra ballista material, like a ballistic nylon material, uh, I think on top of the Cordura. Um, it might be just a ballistic nylon and not actually a Cordura that they put on the bottom here. So we'll see how long that lasts with the PVC sticking out to the bottom of it. And we'll see how long this will last on my back because part of the PVC is protruding out, the frame is protruding out uh, on the back here. I think that's why they put this padding here is to help prevent, prevent that, that PVC framing touching the, the lower back. So yeah, that is the overall unboxing of the Gorilla Boy Desports Simeon backpack. I actually love the color scheme on this bag. I wish Pound would make something like this um, as a custom order that the customer could, could choose. Um, but I think that would be a lot of work for them if I, if I said use every single color because there's a lot of colors that Pound Disc Golf offers. Um, but I think it's cool that Gorilla Boy does this and they said, hey, uh, call us and you can actually call them and actually get really customized um, customized bags where certain patterns and if you go check out their Facebook page and their website they can explain all that in details and uh, some of the bags that they showcase on their Facebook page are really really cool that are uh, have been customized by their customers um, and that they've made for the customers in the past and it's it's an inspiring to see what some of the bags look like that's one of the things why I wanted a hobo bag because I didn't know that a disc golf company could do that and uh, finally, Gorilla Boy has done it with their flagship Simeon bag. So I'm looking forward to using it. All right, guys, that will do it for me today. I will see you guys in the next video. I will use this bag and I will go ahead and start comparing it to the Ridge, which is the closest competitor because they both have built-in seats. Pricing is a little different. The way things are done are a little different, um, as you can already see. But uh, we'll go over it in, uh, in another video. All right. Happy season and um, go, have fun watching all the disc golf content that's coming out right now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.